In a major diplomatic breakthrough today, the United States and Iran conducted a prisoner swap. Four Americans held in Iran, including Washington Post reporter Jason Rezaian, were exchanged for seven Iranians held in the United States. A fifth American, a student, was released separately. Hours after the exchange, the U.S. and five other world powers, Russia, China, Britain, France, and Germany, lifted sanctions on Iran and released billions in frozen assets, implementing the landmark nuclear deal reached last summer in Vienna. Charlie Daggett is there. Among the four Americans coming home are Washington Post journalist Jason Rezaian, former U.S. Marine Amir Hekmati, American businessman Nostra Tola Kozravi Rudsari, and Christian pastor Saeed Abedini. The four men were exchanged for seven Iranians who were imprisoned or charged in the United States. CBS News contacted Abedini's wife Nagme in Boise, Idaho. And, uh, it's, it's a huge burden being lifted and uh, just seeing my kids so happy, is, it's been amazing. It's like Christmas and birthday and everything, all the presents all in one. A fifth American, Matthew Trevithick, was also set free after 40 days detention in an Iranian jail. And Tehran pledged to determine the whereabouts of Robert Levinson, a retired FBI agent who disappeared nearly nine years ago. The unexpected news broke just ahead of the IAEA announcement that Iran had complied with obligations on the nuclear deal that will bring crippling sanctions to an end. The country of 80 million people has been on an economic timeout for more than 30 years. Now it's open for business. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry. That Iran has followed through on the promises that it made. It has kept its word. And we will continue to do the same. But we will also remain vigilant in verifying Iran's compliance every hour of every day in the years ahead. The agreement means Iran can now sell oil on the open market. The country will have access to the global banking system. Iran can immediately recoup around $100 billion in frozen assets overseas. But while European companies can now do business with Iran, for American companies, most restrictions still remain in place, and U.S. banks cannot trade directly with Iran. The prisoner swap may be a gesture of goodwill between both countries, Jim, but even before the nuclear deal was inked, the White House said there remains ample reason to distrust Iran. Charlie Daggett in Vienna, thank you very much.